For the people of this planet, it was a time when the sea and the sky and the very land on which they lived had been polluted by their own cultural waste. They came from an as yet unknown outer space. They landed on the planet and sucked up air, water, and even living creatures into their womb, stealing away the very roots of the planet's culture. And so began, with the few remaining inhabitants, and later with the one called Rodo, the creation of a new world. Breaking into the restricted zone's a cinch. Huh? Ugh. Ugh. Huh? How's it going? No good. It's almost all tar. So this well's dead now. We had it for 70 years. Can't be helped. What are we going to do, really? It's become so hard to get by. Run! Mochi's been looking all over for you! Yeah, yeah, I know. Hey, sun, wind, and gather clouds. Fall, rain, fall, fall, rain, fall. Shake the earth and douse the sun. Fall, rain, fall, fall, rain, fall. River of the heavens. River of the stars, giver of life, flow from above, fall, Granny, rain, are you here again? fall. Uh, what? Oh, Ran, is that you? What are you doing sunning yourself in this awful heat? I'm waiting for it to rain. Here's a present for you, Granny. You went in the restricted zone? In the old days, there were lots of live wells. Back in the days of my grandmother's grandmother, that is. Rain would pour from the sky over the whole land. <gasps> if water fell from the sky, we wouldn't have such a hard life now, would we? Would we? <clears throat> oh, my. Cigarette doesn't want to burn. Granny, see over there? Those rotoist officers get to drink clear, clean water from that bottomless spring till they're sick of it. And they're breathing clean air. Shh! Don't say anything bad about the rotoists. Don't you get frustrated, Granny? What are you talking about? Those officers are each chosen by Rodo himself. You can't go on bad mouthing them. It's been this way since long, long ago. From the days of my grandmother's grandmother. Yeah, right. Ran, you're going to get into trouble. If you end up falling in with people like the Hazard, you'll get yourself killed. If I could get in right now, I'd go. Ah! What the hell? The 
desert soldiers. They've started. Wait for me! Red Centipede, calling Green One, 0144. Come in, 0144. This is 0144. 0144, over. Our ship is stranded 150 miles off the coast of Morado, near the ancient ruins. You will have to carry out the mission without us. Roger. 0144 to Red Centipede. In that case, we'll change plans and send in scouts from Green One. Roger. And our job will be to see that the main force carries out the Dreaming Girl operation. Are you there? We have the girl, waiting for your arrival. That should do. Let's go. Excuse me? Excuse me? Let me through? Excuse me? <sighs> this isn't him. you. 
Here now, everyone, you have Rodo's blessing. Rodo blesses you all. Forget not Rodo's kindness. All give praise to Rodo, night and day. You can't escape now, so you'd better give up quietly! Give up quietly, we'll let you live. We're determined to save the people from your rotoist tyranny and oppression. I'll die before I give myself up. The people don't want that. They live in happiness. It's your kind that are the problem. You guys are full of crap. Enough of these fun and games. You must show respect to Almighty Roto. Fire! This is it. <clears throat> Let's see if I can pull off one more stunt. Stop! Don't shoot! It's an oil geyser! <sighs> Thanks a lot, Mr. Almighty Rodo. Kill yourself as well! No! See you on the other side! They're so darn reckless! Mm, I stopped the infection. It shouldn't bother you when you walk. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's more important that you get the heck out of town. Right away. You've caused enough trouble. Hey, Grandpa, where's Ren? I want to play. Oh, he's out and about somewhere. He'll be home for dinner. Okay. We don't need any more orphans like them. Those Ready, kids and people go. like me got nothing to do with you people's politics. Yeah, well, we're going to open up the Holy Green. There'll be no more having to live under this crushing rotoist oppression. Enough of your empty promises. Listen, the revolution is starting to take hold. Believe me. I really don't care. You can die however you want. Nothing will change. It will change. You got something going? I know all about the restricted zone. Ran. Take me with you. I can help. Or better yet, let me join the hazard. You'd better get out of here. I won't let you get my children involved in this.
You're too young for the hazard. Hey, hold on! Ran! <clears throat> Hi, Ran! Hey, Ran! Someone screwed up. Wonder who. Paula got taken out. Isaku and Saji? We were together for a while, but Paulo got it for sure, though. We were five, now we're two. That sucks. It's been one thing after another for you today, hasn't it, Chi Mean? Yeah, well, I think they're keeping an eye on me up there. What can you do? Yeah, I wonder. <laughs> Let's go. If we hang around here, the soldiers are bound to spot us. guy with a big scar on his chest. Ugh. Is he one of your guys? If you tell me where he is, I'll help you. I'll give you water. 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 Can't you see this man's dying? The doctor will be here soon. That girl. Who was she? Damn. Here. Have some water. That's where it dropped. Doesn't look like anyone made it. Well, we mustn't allow the intruders to get any closer to the Holy Green. I finished checking the east side. I can't use that sewer anymore. Huh? Ah! 
That's my house. I think this is where it was. Run, run. It's dinner time. Where are you? Uh, what the hell? Mom! Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, don't run now. <laughs> hey, that's me. <laughs> uh, oh. Mama, Mama! Mama! Okay, let's eat something. Slow down. Don't rush your food. Mommy, where's Daddy? Where? Daddy? He's at work. He's at work. Oh, he's at work? Oh, Mommy. What's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong? <laughs> Mama. 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 Mama! They found us. Let's move, Laszlo. It's a guy. Guess I better help out. This is it. Guess so. Security's looser than I thought. Now the scouts we sent in must be paying off, huh? Hmm. These guys! They've got a lot of perimeter units! Hmm. Twenty more seconds. Uh-huh. What's that? Look over there and you'll see! Uh-huh. What? Your promise. You said you wouldn't engage here. Tell that to the enemy. If the Holy Green spreads, all of this will become Rotoist territory, whether you like it or not. Now hurry! What do you mean? Oh. Oh. Run! Run! Where are you? Run! 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 Ran! Ran! Come on, rookie! Let's go! There's one left. We missed it. Let's go! It's the hazard. After them! They're following us! Yeah? Well, check this out, kid. Hey, Laszlo! Okay! Uh -oh. 
Here we go! Trouble too. Uh-huh. Bail out. Ran. Laszlo. Uh, uh, Mama. Mama. Run. Ran, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm all right. We've got to go, right now. Take me with you. Okay, but there's no going back, you know. You'd better go say your goodbyes. Okay. We'll wait here for 30 minutes. Go. Let's go, Laszlo. That's pretty mean, isn't it? Don't worry about it. Come on. Grandpa, uh, I, I'm going. Uh, I might not make it back, but I have to go. Sorry. Sorry, Grandpa. Hazard bastards. Those idiots lied to me. Well, I'm not giving up that easy. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, it's so hot. I'm so tired. I'm hungry. Thirsty. Oh, shit. What's this? You two know each other? Huh? <laughs> you bastard! You lied to me! I'm gonna get you! Come back! <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do with you? Ira, you take care of this guy. I have to go debrief the scouts. Sure. Asshole. Ciao! 
I'm sorry about yesterday. I was in such a hurry. It just surprised me, that's all. Oh, that's good. I didn't want you to think of me as some kind of wild girl. Hey, get back to the classroom, you lot. Review yesterday's lesson. Whoever doesn't finish it gets it for homework. Don't run, you guys. Oh, they never listen to me. My name is Ira, and you are... Ran. Nice to meet you, Ran. Uh, yeah. Ira, can you come over here, please? Uh, c coming. What is it, Doctor? Sorry, Ira, but could you get some of the usual medicine? We're running low on it. And what else do we need? Water as well. Sure, I'll have it for you when it comes. I'm always asking, aren't I? Relief supplies come in tonight, so if you've got some to cover till then, it's good enough. I see. Hmm? <laughs> you want to come? <clears throat> This is Hazard Headquarters. It's not much different from a regular town. Uh-huh. Ran! Guess what? I got permission to use the hover bike. What? We need a hover to get there? We sure do. It's about 12 miles out to sea from here. Whoa, it's out in the sea? Get on! Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, hold on tight. Are you ready? Here we go! <laughs> this is great. I love to speed on a hover bike. What do you think? I feel sick. I'm gonna pick it up a bit, okay? Uh-huh. Uh You're gonna get water from here? Ran, hurry up or I'll leave you here. No, wait. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, I'm about done. Not far. Uh, Come on. Uh, oh. Oh, I think I'm gonna croak any minute now. What? Uh, it's water. What? Oh. Grass! Is, is this a holy green? <laughs> Don't worry, it's not the Holy Green. This is a secret well that only the Hazard and myself know about. I don't know why, but the Rotoists never seem to come near these kinds of ancient ruins. Whoa, this is really cool. But where the heck is the water coming from? Who knows? But I do know that ever since I was little, it's never once run dry. Wow. <laughs> you silly. You just have to get the knack. at other people's misfortunes. Take this! Oh. Oh. 
Oh, yeah? Well, take this. <laughs> Ta da! Right. Stop fooling around and get to work, okay? I'll go get the medicine grass, so why don't you fill up the water jugs? Okay, got it. There's so much here. I wonder if there's some way to bring this water into town. Hmm. Hmm. Damn, I fell asleep. Uh-huh. Ira? Where'd she go? Sun's gone down already. Where could she be? Ira? Ira? Hmm. Maybe she fell off the cliff. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Ira? Ira! Oh, you're awake. Here you are. I was worried. What are you doing sitting here? Hmm. Just enjoying the nice breeze. Let's go back. This place gives me the creeps. Maybe there's ghosts or something. <laughs> you know, this is my home. Huh? Sorry, I must sound strange. Actually, I lived here all by myself until I was picked up by the hazard. It was a long time ago, but they said it's a miracle I ever survived, having nothing to eat but moss and grass every day. Well, what about your folks? I don't know. I think someone brought me here from across the ocean a long time ago. Across the ocean? Yes. Probably from another holy green. Another? There's another holy green? Yep. I can't seem to remember what I was doing there, though. The other holy green is over there somewhere. We, uh, let's get going. The sun's almost down. Okay. Ran? Mm hmm Do you like my hair? What do you mean? It's a strange color, isn't it? Like I didn't dye it or anything. It's nice. Why, Ira? Does it bother you? You don't mind it? Not at all. Ira. Really? I'm glad. Ira. Ira. Up, Ira. You scared me. What happened to you? You okay? I'm sorry. This 
happens sometimes. Don't worry. Are you sick? Uh, uh, are you okay? Ira? Uh, we must go home. Kiba's red centipede should be leaving tonight. Hmm. Ira. Hmm? Tell me. About what? Things I don't know. About you. Mm hmm. And you too, Ran? Don't worry. I'll protect you. I promise. Hmm. The enemy's coming! The Rotoists are attacking! Take your positions, man! Here we go again. Information from Ira for our main battle plan. We must obey our leader's orders. Well, let's get these children away from here. No! Let me go! No! Run! Help me! Bastards! Let her go! Wait! Let Ira go! The sands are very active today. All ships, move out! Ah. 
Where the hell am I? Where's that giant ship? By the shortest route, it's 13.7 miles. But Kiba's security's very tight there. I know that. There's no part of Green 5 where security isn't tight. But if we approach from the west, there's this forest. Ah, <sighs> uh, Kiba? Uh, she's sneaky. We lost her. I'm sorry. She's very troublesome. There's no way she can escape. No luck. She's nowhere between the bow and Area 12 starboard. You guys go down. We'll search the port area, all right? Got it. The door isn't locked. different from the others. Ira, can you feel the will of the Holy Mother? The ho Holy Mother? Yes. 
standing in the forest. We have no choice but to obey her will. That is our role. I can feel something too, but... But what's it telling me to do? I don't... have much time. But what do you mean? Ira, the road wisps, they... they don't understand. They don't understand what the Holy Mother really is. The Holy Mother makes forests and springs around her, but... but that's not all. She... She also, also makes the earth. Oh, hold on. Please, hold on. Oh, help. Help. Oh. Somebody help. Oh, somebody help. Gish, how's the water coming? Oh, quicker than usual. <laughs> okay, there we go. Leader looks a bit fuzzy, but... Okay. Takamasa, only 30 more minutes. Okay. Huh? Gish, check it out. A good label. Jeek! Hey, welcome home. Just now, there was something falling from the sky. Uh, did you see it? Yeah, let's go check it out. Takamasa, move out! Aye, aye, Captain! But it's up in the sky, Jeek. It was coming down, though. Quickly. I wrote it down there. Huh? You mean these coordinates here? They're estimated landing coordinates. And what about the other thing? Don't worry about it. I'm sure we've got enough time. That was uh, 11 by 540, wasn't it, Jeek? Uh... That's right. And away we go. Let me see. Found it. Beta, eight degrees right. Okay. What's that? Hey, look over there. What?
What is this thing, huh? Hmm. You really hung in there. You must have had your daily water. Now, was that exciting or what? So, how's the boy? Well, he is alive. That's good enough. Uh, 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 Ira! Let her go! Who are you? Ira, run! Uh, Ira! Beta, two degrees left. Aye, aye. Jeek, looks like they're moving towards green three. Yes, yes. Hey, Jeek, why the hell is Kiba headed for green three anyways? Hmm. Kiba's target is green five, so maybe it's possible they're back on course by now. Well, what do you think is the reason they might leave green one and temporarily go in the direction of green three? It could be a diversion to draw away attention from greens. Why do they need a diversion? Everybody knows that their ultimate target is green five. Take a look at that map over there. Check out the direct line between green one and green five. Sands are moving pretty violently around there, aren't they? They just might be trying to avoid that area, right? And if so, that would take them straight toward Green 3, wouldn't it? But the movement of the sands isn't so rough that a big ship like that would have to go around it. Of course not. However, if they're still intent on avoiding it, it must mean they're carrying a very fragile and delicate passenger on board. We'll catch up to them before they get halfway. Then we'll know for sure. If they're not there, I guess I'll have miscalculated. Gee, uh, 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 it's the kid. Uh, uh, He's come back to life. Ira, I want to know the secret of the Holy Mother. They've surrounded it and won't let anyone get near it. I want to know the reason why. I know that there is some kind of connection between you and the Holy Mother. The color of your hair proves it. Those with silver hair possess some kind of strange power. You're one of them. You communicated with Roulet without speaking, didn't you? Roulet? How, how is Roulet? Is he alive? You should know. There's no reason to ask me. refused to tell us about the Holy Mother. But he just didn't know anything. Not consciously, but deep inside he knew. Roulet talked after we hurt him. He said the Holy Mother's will is our will. Yes, those deep memories. They came straight from him into our own minds, telepathically. Ira. I would like you to clear up one or two more things for us. Okay, let's begin. W what are you doing? Exactly what we did to Roulet, extracting your lifeblood. <gasps>
Extracting your lifeblood. What did you do to her? All I did was tape the bent blade of the scalpel to the ah! inside of her arm, just like Kiba Please told me to. Stop! Huh? Oh! It's water. Lots of food, too. Ahem. Huh? Ah, hmm? uh, 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 I, I, I thank you most gratefully for saving my life. <laughs> Here, drink. Thanks a lot. Hey, that really is pretty. What, this? Can I try it on? I'll give it right back. Yeah, sure. Hey, everyone! Ta-da! <coughs> the soup's way too salty. It was Hanran who made the soup today. I... Thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, where, where is the ship going? Oh, don't worry about it. We'll just let you off or you can be picked up by another ship. We've got a little bit of business to take care of. Business? Yeah, we were chasing this really big ship. A big ship? Would this happen to be a hazard ship? Huh? What? Is the ship's code name Red Centipede? That's right. D take me with you. I've got some business to settle there. Business? There's a guy with a big jagged scar on his chest riding on that ship. I'm gonna find him and kill him. What for? To avenge my mother's death. And I'm gonna rescue Ira. A guy with a scar on his chest. Suo, anyone come to mind? Not really. Scar on chest. Might be. Who is Ira? Uh, Ira's... Uh... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take me with you guys. Okay? Come on, you gotta take me with you. Forget it. Unless you've got some kind of job you can do, we don't have any room for you on this ship. Hey, I'll do whatever you want. No way. I don't want anything to do with some Avenger wannabe. I'm no wannabe. I've killed a Rotoist. Well, okay then. Gee, you nuts! leaves falling here. What? What's happening? Ah! Ah! I will now tell you the function of the Holy Mother. It's a machine. A machine to make harmony on the earth. 
Is it going to somehow influence our operation? Operation Fireball? Why would it have influence on such microscopic human activities? Human activities? Where do you want your laundry? You done? All right. Scrub the floor in the right storeroom. Jeek, why are you chasing the hazard? You're not a rotoist or anything. Well, I'll tell you, we might be able to stop them from killing each other. I'm going to ask Kiba to leave the rotoists alone for a while. Kiba? Isn't he the top commander of the hazard? Jeek, who are you anyway? Jeek, the centipede! Where? There it is! Beta, stop the ship! Gish, sonar! It's the sound of the centipede. Listen, very closely. This motor noise, it's not a civilian ship. It's the Rotoist Navy. Ran. You want revenge, don't you? You want to save Ira? Well, which do you want first? Uh huh? Make up your mind. There's no time. The war's going to start. Ran, you've got to rescue Ira. That's your job. You said you'd do anything, right? Well, okay. Suo, Gish, get ready. Do we need the armored carrier division to kidnap the girl? I wonder. We've caught the centipede. Good. Thanks for the directions. So what'd you find out? I had a vision. What kind? The green. The forest of the Holy Mother. The Holy Mother might not be the Rodo is God. Water dealer! Hey! Stop the ship! This is the last one. Well, thanks for your business. Ooh. Hey, this is good water. <clears throat> it's you! Ah! Uh, sorry, but uh, you want to get in the box? Ren, looks like your turn. Jake, Suo's back now. Okay, Beta, let's get out of here. Right. Kieber, we're getting something from the messenger ship. Everything's ready at Green 5. Is there any change in Operation Fireball? No, tell them Operation Fireball will proceed as planned. Roger, this is Red Centipede. Are you receiving? Oh, I lost them. Waiting for supplementary signal. You lost them? At this distance? Sonar, can you hear the messenger ship's motor? It just died. But I think it must be the usual problem, sir. The Rodos can't have found the Giba! It's a messenger ship! What the? Prepare for battle! Pretty frenzied around here. She's not in there. Okay, next. Everyone listen up. It's the Green Five Armored Carrier Division. Get out the heavy artillery. Use armored piercing shells. Don't let them get near. Those aren't converted civilian ships. It's the real Navy.
didn't need four naval ships for this. Damage report! Number two, pull up alongside. Number two, Roger. gonna get ourselves killed. Let's get out. And let Ira be killed? No way! Uh, uh. Shh. Who's that? Roto's carrier troops. Come home, Ira. Home to where? The place where you were born. Where was I born? The Holy Mother, Green Five. Green Five? That's where I'm to go? Yes. Ira! Run! Ira! Where are you? Ira! Run! We've got her! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Ira! Uh, uh. See that gun, did you? Yeah. Red, right. Red. Red, don't go there. Uh, I run. Down. Now! Uh, never mind. Let's go! So it seems the Rotoists want Ira too, huh? Hey, Ran, we still have a chance. Their destination is Green 5. We'll go there. Beta, move out. Aye, aye. Jeek, what about your talk with Kiba? There's no point telling him to lay off now, is there? 
Well, looks like the centipede's not going anywhere for a while. So I think that if we get to Green Five quickly enough, you could maybe have a talk with the Rotoist Archbishop. Huh? The Rotoist Archbishop? Dinner is served, Your Grace. With some show of force. How's our passenger? Safe and sound. I figured they must have found out about this guy. Show me. We're going to change history with this a super high efficient incendiary device. Fireball. There's something in the sky! What is that? Kiromi, ever see that before? No, I haven't. Looks like it's coming from the forest. Hey there. Whoa now, what's with the evil eye about avenging your mother? Aside from the jagged scar on his chest, was there anything else unique about the guy? Do you remember his face? Hmm. Listen. We know about your mother. Tell me about your father. I don't really remember much about my dad. I guess he probably died somewhere. I see. Jeek, are you a friend of Kiba's? Oh, uh, well, let's see. Well, I, um... Uh... Hey, Ran! The guy right in front of you! He's the man who originally formed the hazard, you know! When Jeek was leading the hazard, they weren't as extreme as they are now. Cause, well, that's not Jeek's style. But he had a part in a ways with Kiba, who was, who was, what, number two at the time. Yeah, so Jeek left the hazard. After that, they turned into the hazard that you know today. I didn't realize he was such a famous guy. Yep, he's not your average dirty old man. Ow! Oh, Jeek. There's one thing I remember about my father. Hmm? My mother said he was a kind man and had a strong sense of justice. Really? Dirty old man. Oh, no, wait! Uh, honey, it, it's not what you think. Huh? 
Gee, what are you doing? Yeah, well, I was, um, I was... Huh? Han! Pervert. Uh. Oh, gee, you pervert. Oh, no, it's, it's yeah. not that. It, no. You'll never learn. No. Rand, did you grease it yet? Uh-huh. That's funny. The oil temperature keeps going up. Gee, could we slow it down a bit? The motor looks like it's gonna blow! Roger. It ain't going down. Beta! Check the sand pressure gauge! It's okay. Nothing unusual, but... Huh? Oh, no. Sorry, looks like we've entered some heavy desert. I'll have to gear it down. I didn't know there was heavy desert around here. No, not there. Over here! Beta, if you look closely, the heavy desert has a different color. I think it ends just over there, about 200 yards away. Yeah. Slowly now, slowly. Ran, hold this down for me. Yeah, okay. Get your butt over here. Push there. Oh, that did it. Why here of all places? We're not moving, because something's stuck in the propeller. Okay, I'll fix it. Wait, Jake, that pressure suit won't sink into heavy desert, you know. What do you mean? If you know how to use it, it will. Kiba and them should come by here in about a week or so, and if we get them to tow us out of the heavy desert, we'll probably be able to get whatever it is out of the propeller ourselves. If we hang around that long, the Rotos might do something to Rand's girlfriend. Hey, hey, Jeek, wait a minute. You're gonna rescue Ira. I've also got to meet with the Archbishop before Kiba reaches Green Five. Jeek! You okay? Jeek! Maybe the audio connector came loose because of the sand pressure. Okay, that's it. Tell him we're bringing him up. Okay. Uh, ah, ah. Be a little more careful. Ran! Relax. You wouldn't die or anything. Give me a break. Takamasa! Pull him up! Okay. You'd die. Ran, check out the tank you dropped. Uh-huh. Understand? Uh, the sand pressure blew it up. Jake! Quick, pull him up! Hurry! I'm pulling! I'm pulling! Stop! Okay, try it again! Snagged on? What is that, Cheek? Is that the thing that we were snagged on? Oh, yeah. This thing is a dolphin bone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Beta, let's move forward very slowly. Roger.
Hey, Ren, we're there. Uh, 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 we're there? That's Green 5, Roto Central. Ah. Uh -huh. look like they're probably pilgrim ships from Green 2. Green 2? I had to run them with them once. Really? Hey, here they come. Those must be the bishops from Green 2. These ugly mutant bishops have been gathering here all week, coming in from holy lands around the world. Something's going on all right. Hmm. You know, it's all because of them that Jeek hasn't been able to see the archbishop. Hmm. Anyway, where'd that kid go, huh? Really? He's such a pain in the ass. Your Excellency, please, please have mercy on this child. Please share some of the almighty Roto's essence and waters with this child. Please, I beseech you Get for the child. Get out of the way! <laughs> Rodoism doesn't allow for handouts to freeloading street scum like you. Move, woman! Stop it! Ooh, huh? That idiot! Rat! How dare you rebel against the Rodoism? That's not why. Let's Moron. get out of here! Stop being a pain in the ass, really! What are you doing? After them! Where are you going? Shut up and follow me. Oh, this place is... Downtown, the old city. This is the only hazard hideout there is in Green 5. Uh -huh. Long time no see, or no? Yeah. You should drop in again, like you used to. Then we can have a drink, all three of us, just like old times. <laughs> Long time no see, Hono. Uh, I go by Jeek nowadays. It's been, what, ten years? 
since you... It's been that long, huh? Uh-huh. As your former subordinate. We're equals. I never had any intention of being leader. Is that so? That is so. So what's up, Ajik? Uh, uh, you wanted to talk to me about something? I came in earnest to make a request to the leader of the Hazard. Well, drink up. It's the real thing. If you make trouble, all our plans will go up in smoke, you know. Okay! Ouch! Where have you been all week? Looking for the guy with the scarred chest. Idiot! Oh, why'd you say that? Red Centipede just pulled into port today. There's just no way Mr. Scarchest could have been on that island. What? Uh, it's nothing. Sorry to bother you. Hey! Ouch! Don't talk so loud. Yeah, well... We don't get along too well with the hazard, so keep it down. Besides, Jeek told you to forget about your revenge thing. If you make a big scene, you're not going to be able to rescue Ira, are you? Hey, you didn't give up on Ira, did ya? Well, Jeek said not to go near the shrine till he had a chance to meet with the Rotoists. Jeek and the Hazard have to finish their negotiations first. So let me go and look for the guy with the scarred chest. You don't get it, do you, kid? I can't get my revenge. I can't go near the shrine. I can't do anything. So, just be patient a little longer. While we're doing nothing, who knows what awful things are happening to Ira. To the immortal Roto, we give this holy offering! Oh, great and almighty Roto, ultimate master, protector of forest and man, we now return holy water borrowed by a living being, the blood of the... The Archbishop said... The Archbishop said what? He said... How much longer will I be kept waiting? Bring the silver-haired maiden to me at once. He's being too optimistic. The girl might not be the true silver maiden. It's not good that she was brought here by soldiers. The matter should have been taken care of at one of the other holy lands, as it's usually done. Anyway, it's no good. It doesn't bode well. Hey, here's good news. The five bishops from each of the holy lands has arrived, you know. Great. The bishops, huh? Okay, everything's okay then. Isn't it wonderful to be able to bathe every day like this, my dear? Your hair is so beautiful. I know that the Archbishop is also very much looking forward to meeting with you. Because it's been 12 years since you, the silver-haired maiden, came home. It's so beautiful. It's not so beautiful. I've gotten into a lot of trouble because of this hair. You have experienced much hardship, haven't you? But it's all right now. Being so welcomed by Almighty Rodo, you are certain to find great happiness. I don't believe you. Because of this hair, Rule was... He was... Miss Ira, please. Miss Ira? The bishop awaits. You must mean the Archbishop. No, it is the bishop. So you see, with all these bishops and hangers-on around, I can't seem to get in to meet with the archbishop. But I know I'll talk to him somehow, so could you just wait around until then? It's out of the question. The hazard has changed since you were in. I know, Kiba. I'm not the brave hazard I used to be. I've lost my bite. Nine years ago. If you hadn't pulled out, you might have settled things without using it. That's a possibility. You won't interfere with Operation Fireball. Oh, yeah. You, uh, don't know by chance of a guy with a big scar on his chest, do you? No. What about him? Oh, a kid that's been riding on my ship is bent on finding him. Is that right? That's a whole week! 
It's one thing after another. Just wait, just wait. I absolutely hate waiting. That's it. I'm going to find that guy with the scarred chest. Uh, Ran! Hold on there, Sonny. Do you really have time for such things? It looks like the conversation upstairs didn't pan out, you know? So then. Ran! Wait! Ouch! Hey, wasn't that the guy Gish they're looking for? Really? Shall we go after him? Hey, hey! Do you hazard boys really have time for such trivial things? It's time for you guys to go. Ah, oh, yeah, Let's okay. go get him! We're just in from Green 5. It's zero hours, set fire to the forest. Zero hours, set fire to the forest. I'll need to carry out your orders at once. I repeat. Scorpion Company, divide into two and proceed to the right flank. Lizard Company, stand by for orders from Spider. Let me go! Jeek's meeting didn't work out, did it? So there's no need to hang around! Hey! Jeek! Uh, as you can see, our talk broke down. The only way is to get into the shrine during the confusion the hazard is about to create. Ran! Wait! Kid's got a lot of energy, doesn't he? I believe it reminds me of somebody else when they were younger. <laughs> I wonder... Ran! You have to save Ira, you have to! Jake! Chi mean? How's it going? Sorry I'm late. No, thanks for coming. That kid hasn't changed, has he? Miss Ira is here, Your Excellencies. Welcome. Please come over here now. And thanks for coming, Silverhead Maiden. so long. The Archbishop is unwell, so we decided to meet with you instead. Getting here was a bit of a trip, though. <laughs> well, your silver hair certainly is splendid anyway. Are you the real thing? What do you mean? Your silver hair, of course. Silver hair is the mark of the Rodo Maiden, isn't it? What? Silver hairs are Rodo's messengers. They are intermediaries between Rodo and ourselves. I don't know what you're talking about. My hair's been silver since I was born. But I'm not the maiden. It is strange what you say. A silver haired one claims not to be the silver maiden. No, that's that's not what I mean. What is a silver maiden anyway? There are holy ones with silver hair who came down from the Holy Mother 12 years ago, promising a miracle. It was proclaimed that when the Silver Maidens return home, the Earth will be filled with greed. We searched for them throughout the world, but we found no maidens who could perform a miracle. They were all fakes. But they all had silver hair. <laughs> Did you not know this? Yes? But the color of your hair is magnificent. No, no. Just because her hair is silver doesn't mean she's a silver maiden. There were apparently a lot of silver-haired people before Rodo descended upon the earth. And there are imposters who would try blessing. Mm. Uh, ouch! Well, it seems real enough. Well then, if you're the silver maiden... Oh, stop it! Show us. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Let's 
started. I guess we'd better go. Oh, and, and try not to kill anybody, okay? Kiva, this is from the observation room. The sun is scheduled to go down in 16 hours, 8 minutes. Okay. I'll go this way. We break through the shrine from here to reach the Holy Mother. Me, head west and join up with decoy company. Right. Hey, how's the pointer? Sir, I've checked it and it's working perfectly. Hopefully everything will go according to schedule, but carry out the operation even if I don't return on time. We're counting on you. You're putting everything on the line with this operation. <laughs> There's no turning back now. <laughs> Special unit. Yes, sir. Everything's in order, sir. Let's go! Let's move. So, she's a fake after all. In spite of a silver hair. She can't produce even one oracle. Shall we give her the usual treatment? What? The Archbishop will be upset. We just tell him there was a mistake again. Well then, give me the silver hair. You like it, don't you? <laughs> I fear we couldn't be. Oh, this hair? <laughs> These are from the previous fake maidens we've dealt with. How awful. Why should you mind? They were imposters anyway. If you can't hear the spirit's voice... You're no good to the world alive. Unnecessary goods must be disposed of. We are guided by the spirit road. The silver hair is mine! <laughs> 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 I won't allow. Return to the forest. To the forest? Yes, to the forest.
And what happened to the bishops? Mm, they've locked themselves in and won't come out. This is bad. Just like the archbishop. Hmm? Move! Hey. Oh. Oh. Ah. Yeah! What the? Yeah. Oh. Where's Ira? Ran! <gasps> Tell me now! No, Mari, I always think you'd be the silver here! Yeah? Where is she? <laughs> Tell me! The Holy Mother! Huh? <laughs> she was summoned inside the Holy Mother! Inside the Holy Mother? I'm going in there! Huh? Ran! You hey! can't go there! Ran! Doesn't look good. Guess this is it. Weird. Oh. oh well. What the? Wow! Oh. Whoa! That was close. What the hell kind of place is this anyway? Welcome home, Ira. You've had quite a difficult time, haven't you? Well, then come home to me. But... of that thing. Are you guys ready? Hey, okay. Right. Move out. Pardon my rudeness, but I was wondering if I might... Huh? Jake! Oh. You guys! Geshe! <laughs> it's kind of funny. Just as we're about to be killed, the Archbishop rescued us. Hmm. These two have told me about you, Jeek. So then, you know why I've come. Hmm. But because the Silver Maiden has already been summoned, humans fighting is nothing. 
What do you mean by Silver Maiden? Hmm. We humans have just barely survived on this planet because the Silver Maidens were able to calm the spirit's wrath. The spirit's wrath? Hmm. Hundreds of years ago, this planet was on the brink of annihilation. Because of all the deadly poisons created by man, the life of the planet had very nearly been exhausted. Then Rodo descended. Rodo came down upon the earth and summoned all the waters and plants into this holy mother. Then, from among the humans, Rodo beckoned us, we of the silver hair. Rodo beckoned us? And for Rodo to truly work, the power of human life is needed. That is why we were chosen to live here on the inside. But before the hazard found me, I, I, I was by myself all alone in the desert. Mm. Twelve years ago, many maidens came out from the Holy Mother, bringing young ones with them. Then, after leaving us with one last revelation, they scattered into the wild. And now, one maiden has returned. Final revelation? Hmm, they said, the Holy Mother will not bestow water and green upon the people. It is more horrifying here. Therefore, destroy the Holy Mother. So, what is that supposed to mean? Hmm. Look at this. You are... Hmm. Long, long ago I was a normal human. But living so near the Holy Mother for such a long time has turned me into what you see now before you. The Holy Mother transforms human beings into plants. If you lend me your power, we can once again cover the earth in green. I am grateful to you, Ira. Truly, for coming home to me. Destroyed the Holy Mother? But how can we? The hazard have a relic from the ancient civilization they call the fireball. Fireball. So then, Kiba... But remember, a long time ago when we used it on Green 3, it didn't do a thing. <laughs> the Holy Green is protected by a special power. However, if you were to get it inside... We've been a step behind all along. Where'd Ran go? Well, he went into the uh, Holy Mother to rescue Ira. Is that so? Fine. You guys round up everybody left from the green. Jeek? I'm going to the Holy Mother. <laughs> There's nothing here either. Hey, why don't we just go and nuke the whole damn place? Maybe so. What the hell is going on in here? Uh, what the... I fell in a hole. A stupid hole. Oh. You okay? Yeah. What? But there's holes all over the place. What do you think is down there? Maybe this is the heart of the Holy Mother. I don't know. What's going on? What the... <laughs> it's the devil! <gasps> what are they? Inside them. Eleven of the Chosen Maidens are sleeping. Really? As a maiden yourself, you must also become Rodo's Pillar. 
Frodo's filler. Yes. Now that you're here, we can fill the one missing space in our group and arrange ourselves for Rodo, that this planet may once again be wrapped in green and blue. But if you don't become a pillar for us, the silly humans will surely destroy the planet this time. That's not true. If only the rivers and trees were divided up among everyone, surely... Have you uh... forgotten, Ira, the horror and persecution you had to endure? All because of your hair. You see, Ira, the humans almost destroyed this planet. It was Rodo and we of the Silver Hair who rescued the Earth. But the humans have done terrible things to our Silver Hair children. How could you ever trust them? But... Ira? What is that thing? Well, let us liberate Rodo and take our revenge on the humans. Ira! <laughs> But why is Ran here? He couldn't have followed me. Ira! I will become Roto's pillar, but not for the sake of revenge. I will do it to make this planet green again. Either way, it's the same. When the Earth is filled with green, even the humans... No, not that. If there is enough green, then everyone can live together. Whatever you like, my dear. Ira! I've come to save you, so let's go. Thank you. But I I'm not going home. Uh -huh. I'm going to stay here with her. No way! You're not staying with that mutant! Ren, you can't go judging a person by their appearances. But she's... You're uh... wrong. She's like me, one of the Silver Hair Clan. Boy. Ira has become a maiden of Rodo in order to avenge the clan of the Silver Hair. We shall wipe out the entire human race. Wipe out the human race? I could never, ever think of doing that. But you're staying here with that thing, right? Yes. So then... Y Ran, you won't believe in me either. You always say you want to avenge your mother's death, don't you? So please don't get in my way now. Ira... Do whatever you want, then. Well, now, shall we begin? Yes. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. No good. Huh? Kiba, what are you doing here? On the contrary, boy. What are you doing here? Ah! What is... What is that? Oh, this. I got a little too close to Rodo's heart. No, not that! The scar on your chest! Hmm? Ah, so it's you. What? I heard there was some kid out there looking for me. So what is it you want with me, boy? To avenge my mother's death! Hmm? <laughs> I see, I see. You must be Hono's son. I don't know who you're talking about! Hmm. Since we don't have much longer, I'll give you a fight. Ira, you will become Rodo's pillar. <laughs> well, together we shall fill this planet with green and erase it from the humans. No, I, I said just spread out the forest. There's no difference. The earth will be filled with green, but all the people will be plants. No, that's... No!
It is as I feared. Rodo has been freed. Looks like some plant. Up we go. Oh, what's, what's that? That's... This looks like that humongous dandelion that fell into the sea. Huh? Hmm. Your average seeds, hmm? I see. It's planting seeds in the desert, huh? Hmm. This could be useful. You think your mother would be happy if you killed him? Move! <laughs> Thanks for the hand, Hono. Your kid's dangerous. Cheek! Come on! This is the guy who killed my mother! That may be so, Rand, but if you were to kill him, I know it would make your mother very sad. But... A parent would want their child to live no matter what, don't you think? Jeek. You understand? What happened to Ira? They're gonna use the Holy Mother to make the whole world green. <laughs> huh? That's exactly right. It'll be full of green. It'll be just like me. Uh-huh. Ran, weren't you supposed to save Ira? Ira? I've got it! I'm going to save Ira! <laughs> Jeek! Where will you go? I have some business to take care of here, so you go by yourself. Jeek, but... Uh, um... Uh, um, well, Jeek... What do you think my father would say if he was here? Hmm? I think that my father would also say that I have to save Ira. Yes, that's right. <laughs> See you later, Jeek. Hmm. Sorry to keep you. Huh. You gonna finish your kid's work? No, but it did cross my mind. I think maybe we better blow this Holy Mother thing to pieces. Let me help you. Partners, just like old times. Partners. Nope. 
still worried about the kid. You know, you can quit now if you want. No. That kid, he'll make it out safe and sound for sure. I'm just wondering how effective this thing will be, but I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's do it. <laughs> You're some parent. Right. Let's go, Kiba. Yes. It's moving. Kiba, you pulled it off! an invisible barrier. Shit! No good? Huh? What happened? Beta! Full starboard and hurry! Jake. Ran. What now? We gotta get out of here right away, you know? Look, Ren, what do you make of this? It's from Cheek. I understand. Listen, Ren, this... <gasps> Let's go, Ira! There's gotta be another sign around here somewhere. There it is! What is this place? <laughs> Ren, what's that? Huh? There it is! It's Jeeks! Hop in this thing and get out of here and take care. Cheek. I'm Ran. Who is this Jeek person? <sighs> he intended this all along.
is gonna happen now? Don't know. Ren, what do we do now? Hmm. But... If my parents were alive, I think they would say, live. Survive, no matter what. I'm sure your parents would say the same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. There's nothing to fear. 